you get? What did you get out of your diagnosis? When they, when they came up with the diagnosis, my question: Okay, what do we do now? Uh, and my philosophy is that is if there's something wrong with the car, we get the car off the track, and we weld it up, or we fix it, or we do it, and we fix it. And my question was: Okay, what do we do now? And Dr. Koss said, uh, there is this brachytherapy treatment, and um, he was familiar with Dr. Hayes, and he said, I think this is the best way to go. And I said, fine, let's get her back on track. Uh, there, he didn't give me another option. I don't think there was another option, short so of. How did he describe your cancer then? How did he describe the aggressiveness? Oh, uh, didn't have to. <laughs> Cancer's cancer. Yeah. He didn't really have to. Uh, he didn't really tell me that I mean, I already knew cancer is cancer. I've had it in the family. Yeah. So wh why would he have to tell me more? Yeah. I took his word. Did, did he give you any kind of a prognosis, Jack, before you came to Dr. Hayes? What, 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 were, the, what were the feelings before and the comments finish, in that? I'm going to address this. Okay. Came out. In okay. that room. Come on in, Dr. Hayes. Um, he really just described that, you know, he, he described that this was the possibility and this is the way to go, and I, that was it. I took his word. So, did any, do you, any of your family members, have they survived the ones who have cancer or had? They're gone. So, when you hear the word cancer, that's like a death sentence. Yeah, for me. When you have four out of six gone, yeah, for me, that's the sentence. And, and Dr. Koss uh, said, okay, we can do this brachytherapy. I think that's the way to go. And I did it. I said, fine, let's get her, let's get her welded up and get her back on track. So let me ask you this question then, Jack. When you came to see Dr. Hayes and he spoke to you about hyperthermia in conjunction with your brachytherapy, what were your thoughts on that? Um, didn't really have any thoughts. I assumed it was a technical, uh, technical procedure, and brachytherapy to me was a technical procedure, and I, accept, I accepted the technical procedure. I didn't really ask, is this good or bad, or is this... This was the road trip, this, these were the directions you went with, whatever they said. Yep. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Because uh, Dr. Koss in uh, Reno, I have a high regard, extremely high regard he for him. All of yeah, and the guy's good. I mean, the guy is great. And he said, hey, I know this place in Salt Lake City, and I know Dr. Hayes, and he's pretty good at it. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, so I just went with it. As far as me asking questions, how and why and what, I didn't really ask that many questions. Let's, let's you, just you know. trusted this is the course? Yeah. Okay. I've got people here that fix the car, and I trust them. and. Mm -hmm. Let's go. And, it, and there was a good result, and there are good results. Okay. How did the treatments go? Did you tolerate them well when they turned the heat on? Um, I didn't know anything about it. I was gone. <laughs> I was out. out. Okay. See, I only woke up. I, I, there was the first session, I was gone all, t all day, you know, just gone. And then the second session, I woke up for a little bit and even had a sandwich. They brought me a sandwich. The third session, I was gone most of the time. So, sir.